Welcome to Tropical Singapore as we join the opening day of the SIM 34th Singapore Open Asian Windsurfing Championships 2015. Set against the lush beauty of Singapore, the 34-year heritage of the nation's top annual windsurfing event stretches back to the early 1980s, when it played a crucial role in the development of windsurfing in the territory. This event uh, really uh, is a benchmark for us to see whether the trend of windsurfing is it growing or not. More people is coming to participate in this event, uh, more countries uh, year after year. Hosted at the world-renowned Singapore National Sailing Centre, great racing and hospitality are guaranteed. The championships are one of Asia's premier events, attracting racers from 10 countries. Amongst the competing teams is Hong Kong, who conquered the 33rd edition in 2014 with nine medals across all classes. They're here to defend, or perhaps beat, last year's performance. The RS1 class saw battle for the title turned on early, with Chen Kwok Fai of Hong Kong stamping down his early nomination for the title by scoring four bullets. In the RSX women's class, Siripon Kandwang Nam from Thailand, who won the bronze last year, secured a good start with four race wins in the women's division. Breathing down her neck is Audrey Yong from Singapore, who is waiting to attack from behind. In the RSX youth class, Japan's Kensei Aikida rules the fleet with a perfect score of four race wins and has set the pace to lay the claim to the championship crown. Windsurfers are on their own out on the racetrack, one against one intent on beating their rivals. A sport some might consider lonely is in fact the exact opposite. When we are in competition, we give our best. It's just respect to your other competitors that you try your best. And that makes us seem like enemies. So when we come back, you know, we're still friends, we're good friends. We forget about what happens out at sea and just continue to be good friends. Sailing is a sport that acts as a great networking community. It's similar to a language where people from different countries can share the same passion through the same basic rules and skills. Individual focus whilst racing, then taking every opportunity on the water and back ashore to socialise and have fun. Race day one drew to a close with a stunning sunset. Consolidation and improvement are on the cards for tomorrow as sailors anticipate day two. Don't miss more great racing action.